Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Daniel chapter 4, beginning at verse 19 and ending at verse 27. This is the Amplified Version. Daniel interprets the vision. Then Daniel, whose Babylonian name was Belteshazzar, was appalled and speechless for a while because he was deeply concerned about the destiny of the king and his thoughts alarmed him. The king said, Belteshazzar, do not let the dream or its interpretation frighten you. Belteshazzar answered, my lord, may the dream be meant for those who hate you and its message to your enemies. The tree that you saw, which became great and grew strong, whose height reached to heaven and which was visible to all the earth, whose foliage was beautiful and its fruit abundant, and on which was food for all, under which the beasts of the field lived, and whose branches the birds of the sky nested. It is you, O king, who have become great and grown strong. Your greatness has increased, and it reaches to heaven, and your dominion reaches to the ends of the earth, and that the king saw on an angelic watcher, a holy one, descending from heaven and saying, Cut the tree down and destroy it, but leave the stump with its roots in the earth, but with a band of iron and bronze around it in the new grass of the field, and let him be wet with the dew of heaven, and let him feed with the beasts of the field until seven periods of time pass over him. This is the interpretation, O king. It is the, de the decree of the Most High God, which is come upon my Lord the king, that you shall be driven from mankind, and your dwelling place shall be with the beasts of the field, and that you be given grass to eat like the cattle, and be wet with the dew of heaven. And seven periods of time shall pass over you until you know without any doubt that the Most High God rules over the kingdom of mankind, and he bestows it to whomever he desires. And in that it was commanded to leave the stump with the roots of the tree in the earth. Your kingdom shall be restored to you after you recognize, understand fully that heaven rules. Therefore, O king, let my advice to you be considered and found acceptable. Break away now from your sins and exhibit your repentance by doing what is right and from your wickedness by showing mercy to the poor so that if you repent, there may possibly be a continuance of your prosperity and tranquility and a healing of your error. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.